welcome to this very special practice for the ladies. Um, this is work that is very close to my heart because it's very close to my own practice and my own experience with the menstrual cycle. And having been someone who in the past has really struggled with quite intense um, cramping and pain. So please be gentle with yourself. There is a massive process busy going on in your body currently. So ease, calmness, softness, gentleness, really are the intentions of this practice to just nourish the body a little bit and perhaps by moving the physical body, by moving the, the bones and the muscles, you can alleviate a little bit of tension or strain or pain um, that you're currently experiencing. So this is a no props required practice, something that you can do anywhere at any time <laughs> appropriately, um, but in any space. So if you're traveling or maybe you're at home to just be able to find a space to be on the floor um, and maybe taking one or two of the shapes or movements, um, not necessarily having to do the whole practice, but you can learn these movements and shapes in this practice today and then use the ones that you feel will be supportive um, in your future cycles. So welcome and thank you for joining here on the Aligned Living platform. We are going to start in one of my favorites, um, especially when I'm feeling a lot of pain in the lower back or a lot of um, discomfort is to take constructive relaxation shape. So we're going to take the feet wider than the hips and you're going to allow the inner knees to touch. So we're internally rotating the thighs and you might feel that that has a beautiful effect in spreading the lower back and you'll have this gentle pressure of the ground up against the sacrum. So here I like to bring my hands onto my womb area using the heat of the hands to really sink into the body and I even like to do a few little strokes up and down. So you could move in circles as well. You could simply hold the hands still on the belly if that works for you as well. And because you can take your time in being here, sometimes nice to have a cushion under the head. So let's just spend a few moments here. I'm just noticing how the body reacts to the shape. You allow the breath just to be quite natural. You might feel every now and then that the body really wants to draw a big breath in and sigh a big breath out. Through our menstruation, part of our cycle, it really is about this letting go, heading towards starting anew, starting fresh. So perhaps setting an intention around that. That's this death and rebirth that we go through in each and every cycle on all levels. So physically, energetically, acknowledging that death and rebirth cycle. Knowing that this is a time where our bodies will feel different to the next phase, which is our follicular phase. We might have a little less energy. We might feel that we don't really want to socialize as much or put our body through strenuous exercise while it's going through this very intense process. So just holding yourself gently here. We'll take five more breaths. After your five breaths, we'll change shape. So we'll bring the feet together and take the knees out to the side. So here, if it feels too much to have the, the legs kind of hanging in the air, you could always place cushions in underneath the thighs. 
Otherwise, again, hands can just rest on the belly. The heat of the hands seeping in. Allow yourself to feel restful. Allow yourself to feel relaxed. And very much aware of being in the present moment. Very much aware of your current energetics. Your state of mind, your state of heart. Our intuition can be heightened during this phase of the menstrual cycle. We can also have less tolerance for other people's negativity or boundaries that are being crossed. So tapping into your deeper knowing and intuition of what is right for you. Let's take five more breaths here. All right, and after your five breaths, you can bring your hands to your outer thighs. Bring both knees back up. From here, keeping the right leg exactly as, as it is, you're going to slide your right foot underneath, so your left foot underneath your right leg. Allow the knee to fall down to the side, and pointing away from you. You can use your right hand to reach for that left foot if it's nearby. And then again, maybe the left hand just stays on the womb area. Or perhaps you want to find that little bit of extra space and just open the left arm up and back behind you. So remembering we're not wanting pain in the body. We're not wanting to really exert our physical effort in this practice. This is all about nourishment and healing and finding more harmony within our systems. Moving into our parasympathetic nervous system, our rest and digest, but also our healing state. And so if we're running that sympathetic nervous system of fight or flight or freeze, the body struggles to send its attention and awareness to the less crucial systems that would be the systems that would help us out of an emergency. So really telling your body and your mind that it is safe to relax now, it is completely fine to go into restoration mode, into healing mode. Good, you can release left foot, switch right leg underneath again, left hand might hold on to that right foot, right hand might stay on the belly, or right arm could reach back behind you. Take two more breaths here. Good, and then you'll release the right foot. So in theme of moving slowly, we're not gonna rock forward. You're just gonna roll onto your side. And then here, lift yourself for a moment and allow this left arm to come out underneath you so that you're just resting on both the arms here, both the forearms. So a little bit of a twist, a nice softening of the belly as the knees pull in towards you. And then from here, you're going to rotate yourself 
to come up onto all fours. We'll take a nice wide knee child's pose, so big toes to touch, knees apart, setting the buttocks back to the heels. Hi, so if you were enjoying that practice, the full session is available on the Aligned Living membership. So that's either the On Demand, which is simply recordings, the group membership, which is live Zoom classes as well as recordings, an amazing community to be a part of, or the one-on-one -on -one membership where I get to work a little more closely with you and your individual needs. Um, if you're interested in more about the cycles, about the archetypes, please make sure to check out the Aligned Living podcast with Kathleen Galatli. Um, and head over to the episode where I chat to Ella particularly. Um, and yeah, if you have any questions, please get in touch. I'm always open to conversation. And if you want to do the rest of the session, go check out the memberships. And I hope to see you on the mat soon. Lots of love. Bye.